Hi, my lovelies. How are you doing today? Welcome home. You know, I usually say that. I just think that's nice. Because, like I say, we are family. And welcome home. This is just wonderful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I saw these in somebody's haul. I hope they're right. I hope it doesn't say home welcome. I hope on camera it says welcome home. If it's backwards, you know, because I'm a little twisted. It's supposed to say welcome home. But because I had to have those. I just totally had to have those because I like to tell everybody welcome home. Welcome to our house. We're one big happy family, which I totally love. So, that's my first item. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I had to build a little bridge. I can't find my phone holder. I had it this morning or yesterday afternoon. And I don't know what I did with it. I don't know where I put it. And it just drives me crazy when I do stuff like that. Boring aluminum pans. I have the aluminum pans because I make, if I make anything for me, but basically I'm the only one that eats the way I do in the house here. Even though the kids' doctor says we should all eat that way. And my daughter-in-law had weight loss surgery. She had the sleeve where they just cut her stomach down. And she's supposed to eat the same way that I eat, which she's not. And, I mean, she's, she's doing really good. But I don't know if it's going to last forever or how long it's gonna last so I mean it's it's rough to change your eating habits trust me I know okay so this is a lot of fall items and I was happy and I found the plaques pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes which I totally this is my favorite one totally my favorite and then we have Gather with Grateful Hearts. There we go. Try to glare off of it. And it's a off-white, not quite a beige, but an off-white with a raffia bow and a little stem. And you guys have all seen those. I, there's another one. I believe it's a black one. Can't find it. I got these at two different stores. And that was the last one of The orange one that was the uh, and I found the, the creamy one first they had a couple of those and then the next store I went in they had one orange one left all right so we'll go over some food items that I picked up I have two of the crush singles to go to put in the water and the pineapple Logan especially loves 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 these I mean he just loves them that's what he basically drinks every day he'll drink water and then he'll put those in his water so i got me for snacks some pumpkin seeds david's pumpkin seeds they're all natural and there is 15 carbs in here but <coughs> excuse me but 12 fiber so that's three net carbs for the whole package. And I, they're roasted and salted. And I'm just trying to figure out, could I eat a whole package? Oh, I'm sure I could. But with all the work that's going to go into it to get into them, I probably won't eat a whole package at one time. Not the best snack, but I wanted to try it. They're the Pears Gourmet Flavorful Salt and Pepper Peanuts. It's 4.5 ounces. 
and all it contains it says is oh no contains peanuts and yep there's some stuff in here that's not uh really good actually the worst thing i'm seeing um peanut oil and dextrose but a couple at a time there is four and a half servings in here and you know like i said i need to get my salt in so even before if i was to eat something like this i think i bought some salt and pepper cashews one time or almonds and i couldn't eat that much because of the salt i couldn't eat that much at all so three tablespoons i don't know maybe depends on how salty they are but there is five carbs three fibers so it's two net carbs per serving which isn't that good because of the serving size 160 calories 14 grams of fat and seven grams of protein yes nuts are good for you on a low carb keto diet and i do lazy keto i'm still transitioning and I found it easier right now for me. Alright. Low and had to move the chair and go over there with Chase. Chase's computer time right now. But I found right now for me it's easier to do lazy keto. And I'm trying my best to come for over two keto but with me being the only one that doing it is doing it in the house again it's hard when you do a recipe when you make something I mean, that's why I got the little aluminum pans because I if I make a recipe in that I can take a 9 by 13 recipe and cut it cut it cut it down and that should last a, close to a week for me and so that that's the only the hard thing about it so you know I'm still getting what I need to get I have some spur but I want to switch over to the monk fruit because I tried the monk fruit sweetener and that's tastes a lot better than the swerve the swerve to me is really 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 sweet so but every once in a while, sometimes you're just, you know, you're, you're hungry. You just need that little something. And my thing used to be potato chips. So peanuts, almonds, cashews, macadamia nuts, walnuts are good. Peanuts like at the bottom of the list. But I mean, it's the crunch, you know, it's the, the chewing in my mouth, which should hopefully help. And then I got some ranch food flavored David uh, sunflower seeds so I'm gonna I've never tried these so we're gonna give these a try look at it I wanted to get the Taco Bell ones but I thought the carbs I'm gonna look again but the carbs seem kind of high on it this is a whole serving and there's 300 calories 24 grams of fat eight carbs three fibers so it's five carbs for the package which is coming from the seasoning i'm pretty sure but again i know i'm not going to sit down and eat this whole package at one time because i wouldn't get this much time to sit down and eat this you guys have seen my littles. You have heard my littles. They never give grandma enough time. I mean, grandma has to go to the bathroom. Inver stands outside the door and talks to me. If she's not up, or laying down for a nap. When I open the bathroom door to come out, there is a dog and one to two cats. I have two cats. 
one to two cats sitting outside the bathroom door. The dog was supposed to be my son and daughter-in-law's. The dog became my dog. Somehow. She's a pain in the butt. She's a uh, border collie and lab mixed. She's almost two and a half and she has so much energy still. She chases the cats around the house and the cats take their claws out and bop her in the nose and I mean she's been cut and she yelps turns right around and goes back for more and I'm not a person who believes in decline in cats I know everybody has their own opinion because it was very cruel the way they did it they now do it a different way but there's no guarantee that they're not gonna come back my friend who wear it, runs a daycare does have all her cats to claw the front she had a cat took it in paid quite a bit of money had the cat be clawed and the claws came back her nails came back so then she went to the regular our regular vet and had it done and they never came back the second time. But yeah, they're saying now the way they do it, they could come back. And I found some collagen lip mask of all your lips. Mm. So, I have one of these. I haven't used it yet. So it's for the giveaway. Our 200, 200 subscriber giveaway. I'm gonna be doing a video on that so you guys can see what is in your at-home spa package. Okay, I got some stuff over here. I have two of these eyeglass cleaners. They're 8.5, 45 ounces. I know you guys have seen them. I picked up two. I should have picked up more. They are wonderful. They clean so well. And they are made in Canada. I mean, I've had eye glass cleaner. Like I got the little one. They don't do it anymore, but Walmart used to have these little bottles. You pay like 99 cents. I can't remember if it's a dollar 99 or 99 cents just for the little bottles. And then you take it back in and they fill it for free for as long as you have the bottle. Well, they don't do that anymore, but this is so much better eye cleaner. And, oh, I didn't realize I got these. I thought these were bath bombs. So I guess I did get the other shower steamers that don't work. So, well, no Bolero. So we'll, we'll see what happens with those. All right, so... Excuse me, I have the pumpkins, the ceramic glazed pumpkins, which I think are totally beautiful. The teal looks beautiful on videos. I want a teal. Teal is like the first to have gone, I, I swear. Everybody has teal and I don't have a teal. So I got it in the orange. And then I got it in the, I guess it would be more like a champagne. Because it's not white, but it's not beige. But it's pretty. And then I have it in a different orange, paler orange. And then I have it in like, um, I guess some, it's a cross between a red and a maroon. It's a maroon with red to lighten it up which I really like and I think the teal would go really nice with this one. So hopefully that will, I'll be able to find one. It's on my wish list right now when I have something I'm looking for, I can't find it right on my wish list. Then I was 
Oh, where'd the other two go? Logan, what? do you see the other two pumpkins like this baby? Are they on the floor? Can you look for grandma? Will you hand them to me? Yep, they are on the floor. Okay, so I have the velvet pumpkins, I found them. And when I heard about them, I was like, velvet pumpkins. Ah, I don't know. I don't think they're gonna look good. And you see them on, thank you. And you see them on videos and beautiful colors, but you can't really tell. So I found these at one store and they're beautiful. They are beautiful. If you've not seen them, they are beautiful in person. Now they did have the teal and they did have the green. They had all of them. And I'm kicking myself for not getting the teal now, but because I couldn't get the teal in this, I didn't want to get the teal in, in that. So hopefully I'll be able to go back. But again, I have the when you look at it this way, this looks more yellow and this looks more white. But by itself, it's not. It's not white. So I have off-white, this beautiful brown, and then the regular orange. So I will be looking for the other teal, I mean the, the other colors in the velvet to hopefully I can find them and then um, I have to take all my draft stuff down and set my mantle up with the pumpkins, the velvet pumpkins and the ceramic pumpkins and even though this isn't autumn I may put these on the end but then again I was thinking I have succulent pictures in my bathroom so I may take a small shelf and put it in my bathroom and put those up there. Interesting place for the welcome homes in the bathroom, but you know, that's a lot of times I think where we spend the most time is the kitchen and the bathroom. I don't sleep much. If I sleep six hours, that's like most people sleeping 10 to 12. I usually function anywhere from two to four. Well, I don't, it's hard to function, but I usually get two to four hours of sleep. And it's been that way since my car accident. And it's getting worse because at least once a week, I am up all night. I'm up close to 40 hours because I can't sleep. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and I don't know, maybe I saw the Yoni with this. And, I was like, oh, I want one, I want one. So I saw it yesterday, but I didn't see these. I saw every single one, and then they had two. The Flamingo, and this one has more pinky purple in it than the other one was mainly blue. But I love this. I love the Flamingo. I don't know, Flamingo is just, that's my summer thing, it just, I, I didn't get into the pineapples and the mermaids and the unicorns and the llamas. They're okay. I mean, they're cute and that. But for some reason, those flamingos, maybe because they're pink and they just like are growing on me so much. So, like I said, I was pretty sure I saw Fiona with this and I had to have it. And I found two at the store. They had everything else. They only had two flamingos left. And I didn't like, I would have bought both of them, but I didn't like the other one because it had too much blue in it. Now we're on to signs. I was so excited to find these, the yard steak ones. You guys have seen them. They're metal. They have the little springy that comes off the leaf. This one says, hello fall, with the pumpkins, and the red wagon, and the, the, you know, the stick here is thin. These are, you know, you're painted dollars, so you get like a season out of them. They should be able to get fall, 
hopefully till at least Thanksgiving. And then I have the Happy Harvest with the bike, with the pumpkins. I like the bike. I really thought the bike was cute. And I love the red wagon. And I was like, I don't know, you know, is the bike gonna fit? Is it gonna work in? But then when I got there and I saw it, and I'm like, yeah, because you have your sunflowers, which are yellow, your bike, which is green, and your pumpkins, which is orange. And it just all blends in together nicely. And then your your leaf has got the orange and everything for your pumpkin. And the red truck. And that one says Harvest Blessings. This is my favorite one. I may pick another one of these up. I was so disappointed last year. No! Chasey. I went in probably end of October, early November to a store and they had started putting their Christmas ornaments out and I picked up a red truck and I thought about it and thought about it. I'm like, uh, I don't know. It's cute, but I don't know. I put it back. That was the only store I ever saw it in. No, I did find one or two more different stores, but they were all broke, damaged beyond repair. I was very upset. Very, very upset that I did not. So hopefully they'll bring out the red truck again this Christmas, and I'll be able to get one. Now this man I got is a wooden sign for the yard. And... I hadn't seen this one when I saw it in the store. I've seen it since. But, you know, some are like, welcome to our patch, and harvest blessings, all, all the different, different ones. But there's this one. Family, friends, and football. And your football is glittery. It's not too bad. The fallout's not too bad on it, but I will um, spray it. I'll probably spray the whole thing for it to go outside so I can get as much use out of it if it lasts. I was very upset last year. I had some wooden signs, I think, for Halloween. And the next morning I had woke up and it was like somebody came by and kicked them and broke them. We've never had a problem. Must have been a bunch of teenagers acting stupid. But I was like, it was Halloween. Yeah, it was Halloween decorations. I couldn't believe they'd, they'd done that. Now you have blow ups in my yard. I have just one now. It's a big ghost ship and it talks. But the first year the blow ups came out, I had that turkey. They no longer make that turkey. They made that turkey one year. Somebody, me and my friend had one. We lived kitty corner across the street from each other. They stole both of ours. And that's the only blow up I've ever had stolen. And I had blow ups. And I had a lot of decorations for Halloween and for Christmas. And then year a year or so year and a half ago my husband found out well the man that left found out he has some heart issues and so he that took him off work put him on a medical and we got short-term disability for a while and then it went to long-term disability and going from short-term disability to long-term disability they lost his whole file they lost everything I guess the doctor's office never sent it back so then he was denied long-term disability so it's been about a year and a half that he has had no money whatsoever 
and we're trying to live on my check, which just, we were trying to live on my check, which was just, so even now, even now, just me, I don't have a lot of bills, but the bills I pay, I was lucky I had a little bit of extra money this month, so I was able to get some good Dollar Tree shopping in, but normally, I don't have, sometimes I don't have enough to do any shopping at all. Or, I mean, sometimes I don't have enough for food. I mean, that's how big my truck is. But anyways, that's not your guys' problem, issue, that's mine, but sorry. But we had a storage unit, and because of that, we lost the storage unit. I lost everything. And he was like, I don't have to clean it out now. I lost my kids, things when they were babies. I lost so many mementos. I lost so many pictures. I had Pampered Chef stoneware. My sons and my daughter and my grandchildren used the bassinet. He was born in 1989. And there was just so, so, so much in there that I lost. And I feel bad. He doesn't feel bad. But I do feel bad. His mom had a oak. I believe it was oak. Real wood wardrobe. And inside of it, when you open up, it still had some of her clothes in there. And had her shoes in the bottom. And I couldn't get rid of it. It bothered me more than it bothered him to lose that. My mother-in-law moved in with me two weeks before my car accident. I didn't realize how close I was going to get to her. Okay, the last of the signs that I have is I blabber, blabber, blabber. I have the pumpkin, raffia bow, silver leaf, thankful and grateful, which I just totally love this. It's... Oh. There's hardly any fallout on that. And I have two of them. And I didn't realize I had two of them. Little red trucks that say, Happy Harvest, wrap your bow, same thing, metal, leaf. I'm just so excited that I, I have that. And then I ended up with two of these, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with two of them because I like it but it's not I like the other one better I think I may go ahead and take one of these back and exchange it because I know there was a couple more signs I wanted but the one that says hello fall with the red truck that moves and the brown pumpkin and this fall I guess fallout is a lot worse than two of them fallout is a lot worse on the uh Christmas ones than they are on these Unless I use this for friend mail because I do have some things that I started picking up that when I saw I just couldn't, couldn't get them. And then I have the mason jars with the red truck, hello fall, with the burlap lid, and the only glitter and this is where it says hello fall and then I have the other one that says grateful and blessed with the pumpkins and sunflowers in the tree and I just you know I love love sunflowers I mean it's not my favorite flower but I just love them so that my loves is the end of my all and a half hour later You've probably learned about me things that you didn't really care about or you didn't really want to know. That's just who I am. Until next time. Be kind. Pay it forward. Try to make somebody smile. Stay good. Just remember how much I love you. And like Ember says, she loves you too. If you like these, give us a thumbs up. If I get on your, get on your nerve, 
give us a thumbs down. It doesn't matter. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It gets us out there. I would like to get out in the YouTube world and grow our family and get closer to people and learn more about you guys. You don't probably want to know any more about me, but I'd love to learn more. I'm I've, I've learning so much about some of you and it's just a wonderful thing. And I enjoy collabing with you guys. I enjoy talking with you guys. And I love you so much. If you like to become part of our family or if you know somebody would like to become part of our family, you guys know what to do. You know, I'm not going to say subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. The only thing I would like is a thumbs up or a thumbs down because like I said, that does get us out there. Okay, until later, my loves. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you. Always remember that. Bye-bye.